One of the secrets for us to find these snappers on the reef is really our sonar. You can have great numbers and have a spot that, that worked yesterday or somebody give you some good numbers, but when you get out there, that does not mean that the main body of fish is always gonna be right there. Whether you're trying to find a new spot or you're just going out to an existing spot, it's a great idea to have your sonar on and just idle around and try to mark these fish. This Lowrance 16 live unit has a great, easy to use sonar. All I really do is, is uh, put it on auto. Um, I put it on split screen so where one side is zoomed in a little bit more than the other. And then we just idle up and down the reef and that 50 foot to 80 foot range is usually a really sweet spot where those snappers are hanging out, especially during the spawning time and we will mark those fish. When, when I see a great cloud of fish, I'll mark it on my GPS, actually mark the spot, and when you find these good marks, just go up tight them a little bit, drop that anchor down, that same depth of water, and that current flow should take that chum right back to them, whether you're sandballing or just regular chum, they're gonna respond to that and come to you. So uh, really the big key to find these schools of fish is their sonar, spend the time, uh, don't just go out and drop anchor anywhere somebody tells you, spend the time to look around. So the unit we're using today is the Lowrance HDS Live unit. It's a 16 inch, has a super easy to use sonar. It's very accurate, great detail, really trust it. If you wanna check out this exact unit, you can go to Tackle Direct and check out the link below.